hello friends once again I think you have been seeing a lot of my videos earlier on the myths and facts of losing weight where we have spoken about the right kind of eating where we've spoken about what is right exercise from sleeping to stress a lot of things but today let's just try to uh, in this video we will try to talk about the general myths and facts of diet and exercises in general because whenever you put on weight you might just hear this from everybody who comes across you why don't you do some dieting start walking why don't you do some dieting start walking people might come and tell you oh maybe follow this x diet follow this y diet you know what i lost 10 kilos in that diet you know what i lost 5 kilos in that diet you know what i started working out in the gym last 6 months i have a personal trainer i've lost like 10 kilos so you might hear this quite often people trying to come and push you and most often those who are telling you haven't tried anything at all they would just tell you from here and say but what is the problems with this let me first tell you the concept behind this diet it is scientifically said if somebody reduces the calorie intake by 500 calories per day you roughly lose about 0.5 kilos a week so 500 calories if you reduce per day you lose about 0.5 calories a week which means 2 kilos a month which means 24 kilos a year let's say a 70 kilo person is trying to do this do you think that person would disappear in three years it's just not possible so if this is so everybody should be losing the same everybody would just reduce the calorie intake by 500 calories what 500 calories is almost like about a meal that you eat in the afternoon it's so so simple but then it doesn't happen so everybody who has claimed to you that they've lost weight would not have told you about the weight regain that might have happened or that might eventually happen so this is what we need to understand now what happens when you do a dieting you need to understand the scientific background to this whenever we try to reduce a caloric intake which means you are not giving the glucose that you are normally taking there is something called glycogen in your liver which will come out to be converted to glucose after two to three days the fat in your body the fat I mean you have fat everywhere in your body okay? this fat gets converted to glucose to create glucose this in the process also creates something called ketosis this is what normally we call a ketogenic diet because it produces ketones after two to three weeks what will happen is the muscles will start to break down to convert into glucose so usually any diet for the first 15 days is good you might lose about four to five kilos but after this 15 days what will happen is the body will start to realize okay this person is adequately not giving them food so it will start reducing its metabolic rate or its metabolic capacity because you're not giving enough food so the body has to conserve energy so it will reduce its metabolic capacity so it will not it will stop shedding so you reduce the calorie intake it reduces its calorie output so what will happen you are continuing your dietary program for four weeks six weeks eight weeks roughly in the process you are losing some weight your metabolism also goes down after two to three months i mean any diet is not followable for life you start eating back your normal diet but what has happened in the process the body has lost its metabolic capacity so once you start eating the metabolic capacity will not increase it will continue to be there so what will happen you are eating the same amount of food that you've eaten earlier not more but you'll regain all that weight so quickly and not just all that weight that you lost but even more maybe a kilo or two more you will increase because your metabolism is low then what will happen the same type of diet you try to do next time if first time if you had lost five kilos next time you'll probably lose only four the third time you lose only three the fifth time you will not lose any weight at all even if you fast that is when you start getting fed up what is this last time i lost so much now nothing is happening your friend comes and tells you you are probably cheating come on it's not this is called metabolic adaptation if i'm hitting you with a stick the first day it pains second day it pains every day i keep hitting you the tenth time it doesn't pain 
This is called adaptation. Likewise, the body metabolically adapts and even if you are not eating anything at all, you will not lose your weight. You are actually causing more harm. So you lose 10, gain, gain 12. Next time you lose 5, you gain 6 like that. If you put it additively together, you might have started at 80, but you might end up in 90 or 95 and now you are not able to lose weight also. So this dieting, this over-the-counter diet, over a function, over a friend diet is something humbug. Please do not try crazy diets like this because it will eventually going to harm your body. So when it is a type of dieting, the diet needs to be prescribed by a trained person in obesity and in a way that you cheat your body that this metabolic adaptation does not happen because the diet needs to be prescribed in such a way and this needs to be combined with the right kinds of workout because weight loss should not cause you metabolic loss. Your metabolic capacity should not be lost because that is going to cause long term harm. So the short term gains will 100% cause long term harms so the short-term losses need to be done in a guided 